back in January at CES 2020 here in Las Vegas, I had a chance to check out the Dell Latitude 9510, the two-in-one premium device that Dell was touting as being a really great battery beast, as well as a productivity monster. And I'm glad I got a chance to check it out because Dell sent it over and I received it yesterday. And boy, am I super impressed with it so far. It's got a really big battery. It's got a beautiful display. And I have to say, premium build all around. This might be the two-in-one business convertible we've all been waiting for. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my unboxing and first look at Dell's all-new Latitude 9510, a 2-in-1 convertible all-new for 2020. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. And make sure you follow me on the social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. It's over there where I'll post a lot of the updates. And in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before it's released. This review unit is on loan from Dell and once this review is done, I will be sending it back. Now, pricing starts at $18.99. It's certainly not cheap, but you, what you're getting here is a premium two-in-one business convertible laptop that really hits a lot of the points, especially if you want really good longevity in terms of battery life. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Now, the unit that Dell sent me has the Intel Core i7-10810U CPU. This is a six-core processor with vPro. Now, I didn't actually see this chipset available on the website yet, so I might have a pre-production unit. I will reach out to Dell to confirm, but expect that SKU to be coming out very soon. Now, these aren't cheap. These will be over $2,300 for sure. And with that out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now, you do get your extension cord, and they sent me the optional 90-watt power adapter, a USB-C power adapter. You get some documentation, warranty information, and, of course, the unit itself. Holding it for the first time, super premium with its all-metal design, very high-end. They also sent over the Dell Active Pen for me to check out as well, and we'll talk about that in the full review, but so far it's looking good. Very premium pen experience. In addition to the pen, they sent over a very premium sleeve to carry this around when you're on the go. It's a very nice material used on this, a very premium build, and it fits the 9510 perfectly. It's actually a really snug fit, and it also has a pen loop where you can store the pen, so you can take the pen with you. I like this option. And of course, as we always do, let's check out the port selection. We'll start off on the left side where you'll find your HDMI port, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and a micro SD card reader for storage expansion. Moving over to the right side, you get a Kensington lock port, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and a USB-A port. That'll round out all the ports on the 9510 2-in-1. And for those wondering, well, you can't quite open the lid with one finger. Now, of course, this being a two-in-one convertible, you could put it into the different modes. Tent mode is great for watching Netflix, YouTube, and the same goes for the stand mode. You could always put it into the tablet mode. This is great for use with the pen. Now, so far, I'm super impressed with the keyboard. Really good key travel, good tactile feedback, and I also love the fact that it's comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. I also appreciate the fact that it does have a multi-stage backlight. This allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. Now, this also has a precision touchpad, which is, of course, really responsive. Two-finger scrolling is buttery smooth. All the Windows 10 gestures are working as advertised. So far, so good on that front. Okay, let's talk about what's user upgradable. All you need to do is loosen the captive Phillips head screws, pop off the bottom plate, and you're in. Now, once inside, you'll notice that single fan for cooling. You'll also notice that it does have an 88 watt hour battery. That's the bigger battery size. And I can tell you right off the bat, less than 24 hours in, I am seeing phenomenal battery life. We'll go over that more in the full review, but we're looking at at least 10 plus hours with 50% left to go. I'm anticipating 18 to 19 hours total charge. Of course, we'll have to see. Now, of course, this also has an SSD that is user replaceable, as you see here, but it unfortunately has the RAM soldered into the motherboard, you won't be able to upgrade that. And it looks like you could also swap out the Wi-Fi card, although this does have Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0. So that's good on that front. 
Okay, let's talk about one of the stars of the show, and that would be its 15-inch Full HD IPS multi-touch display. It's a Full HD resolution. That means it's 1920 by 1080. It also means it has a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, which, of course, is great for consuming media, watching things such as Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, and the like. It's also a touch display with an active pen layer, so that means you could, of course, use that active pen that Dell sent over as well. So it's good for taking notes, good for sketching out artwork, but as far as consuming media, this has been excellent so far it gets pretty bright it has really good coverage of the color gamut very vibrant colors i am super impressed with this display in fact i almost thought it was an oled display because of the sheer vibrancy of the colors i am really really liking this display of course i'll bring you all the numbers in my full review but suffice it to say i'm loving those really thin bezels giving off a really modern look especially for a convertible that's geared towards the businesses you don't normally see that i really like those thin bezels so this is the front-facing camera on the Dell Latitude 9510. It's a 720p, 30 frames per second Windows Hello camera. That means you can log in with face recognition. I think it's good for Skype, good for Zoom. Not the best I've ever seen, certainly not the worst. But again, it will definitely get the job done, especially when you're on the go once this pandemic is over. And of course, when you're working from home, this, of course, becomes of utmost importance. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. I am curious to know. And the speakers are working excellent. I really like what they did with the sound on this two-in-one convertible. Good volume, good mids, good bass. I'm super impressed so far. Really good job by Dell. Now, I really didn't get a chance to test the performance too much so far, but you can get an early indication on how it's performing with that Core i7, with its six cores and V Pro. And as you can see from the numbers, it's looking good so far. But of course, I need to do all my testing to bring you all the benchmarks in my full review. So stay tuned for that. Now this unit has 16 gigabytes of LP DDR3 RAM. Unfortunately, it's not DDR4, but I guess they wanted that incredible battery life, so they decided to go with the DDR3. And so far, that battery life is looking great, especially with that 88 watt hour battery. So far, this is looking like the new battery champ. We'll see when we get those final numbers in. Again, stay tuned for my full review coming very soon. So what do you think about this bad boy, the Dell Latitude 9510? Oh boy, am I impressed with this so far. All metal build, super premium. It's not too heavy, not too light, but it is a two-in-one convertible with a gorgeous display on this. It's a full HD display, but it is absolutely bright. Gorgeous in terms of how vibrant the colors are. Covers the color gamut really well. And I'm looking forward to putting it through its paces to bring you my full review. Now it's got a 10th generation processor with a V Pro. It's a Core i7. And so far, performance is looking really good. But of course, I gotta do all my benchmarks, do all my testing, and I'll bring you all that very soon uh, so far this battery life is off the charts now I've had this less than 24 hours but I'm seeing incredible battery life 50% left and I'm already over 10 hours and that's pretty amazing stuff so far so super impressive stuff by Dell with the battery on this beast now this might be the new battery king we'll see when we're all said and done with the testing but I'm curious to know what you think let me know in the comments section below a lot of things to test on this so I I look forward to bringing it to you. Super impressed with it so far. Also some pretty good speakers that are really impressive. Again, I, I can't say enough good things so far, but again, less than 24 hours, not enough to give you my full review, of course. So stay tuned, that will be coming very soon. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.